Seasonal weapons are nothing new, and with Season of the Hunt, we have a bunch of new weapons to chase and collect. And there's some pretty good roll combinations available for both PvE and PvP. So today I'm going to look at the best weapons from Wrathborn Hunts available in Season of the Hunt, as well as best rolls for PvP and PvE. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. So these weapons are available as part of Season of the Hunt, so you're going to need the Season Pass to get hold of them. There's a couple of ways that you can get these weapons. So two of them are available through the Season Pass. So you've got Royal Chase at rank 30 and Blast Bat 2 at rank 45. You can also turn in Recon Data, which can be acquired through successful Wrathborn Hunts, and rank up at Crow to get Engrams, which generally give you weapons from the Seasonal Loot Pool. So these weapons can also be target farmed through the Wrathborn Hunts activity by choosing the Prey mod on the Cryptolith lore. So what you want to do is inspect the lore in your quest tab and pick and choose the Prey mods and some have weapons, some have armor, as well as progress towards catalysts like Leviathan's Breath and you've also got lure mod mutations. So here you can pick and choose the weapons you want to target farm so you apply the Prey mod and off you go on a Wrathborn hunt and the loot should drop once you've killed the Wrathborn at the end. So let's have a closer look at some of the weapons and I'm going to rank them in my personal preference but I do think they are all worth checking out. Well first up we've got Deafening Whisper and this is a waveframe grenade launcher so one shot handheld grenade launcher and the projectiles release a wave of energy when they contact the ground. And this is a void grenade launcher and it takes special ammo. So looking at the stats it's got 44 for stability, 75 for handling, 73 for reload speed, 68 for velocity and 55 for blast radius. So 72 rounds per minute grenade launcher with one in the magazine. So the curated roll comes with smart drift control for that increase in stability, handling speed and projectile speed. It's got proximity grenades where grenades fired from this have proximity detection and killing wind where final blows improve mobility, weapon range and handling for a short duration. And finally, Rampage, where kills with a weapon grant increased damage and stacks up to three times. So for PvE, Lead from Gold, where picking up heavy ammo, also grants ammo and Rampage is also a good pick too. For PvP, Killing Wind and Wellspring would be a nice perk. And the most popular role for this at the moment is Ambitious Assassin and Wellspring. Next up, we've got Corsair's Wrath, and this one is a linear fusion rifle. And this one has a precision frame, meaning it fires a long range precision energy bolt and the weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. So for the stats, it's got 41 for impact, 41 for range, 44 for stability, 32 for handling, 30 for reload speed and it's got a charge time of 533 with 5 in the magazine. So the curated roll comes with kill clip where reloading after kills grants increased damage and also no distractions where aiming this weapon for a short period reduces flinch. And it also comes with ionized battery for an increase in magazine side and decrease in reload speed and finally extended barrel for that increase in range. So for PvP, quick draw and moving target would be a good roll and for PvE, firmly planted and demolitionist would be really really good. The most popular role out there with the community at the moment is Outlaw and Thresh, with Thresh being a great new perk this season, which grants a small amount of super energy on kills. Now, I'm not normally a huge fan of linear fusion rifles, but this one seems quick and pretty deadly, so definitely worth checking out. Next up, we got Blast Batu, and this is a power grenade launcher. It's also an adaptive frame, meaning it's got a well-rounded grip, it's reliable, and it's sturdy. So looking at the stats, we've got 44 for stability, 47 for handling, 46 for reload speed, 44 for velocity, 30 for blast radius. It's a 120 rounds per minute grenade launcher with 6 in the magazine. So for the curated role with this one, it comes with Rampage, where kills with a weapon temporarily increase the damage, which stacks up to 3 times, and moving target, where increased movement speed and target acquisition while aiming down sights. It also comes with high velocity rounds and quick launch. So for PvE, Clown Cartridge and Chain Reaction would be good. And Chain Reaction is a new perk this season where each final blow creates elemental damage explosions, which is new for our grenade launchers and absolutely fantastic. 
For PvP, Killing Wind and Rampage, or Killing Wind and Disruption Break could be good. Disruption Break is particularly good for that combo, where you can rip off someone's shields in PvP and then finish them off with a kinetic weapon. So to get this one, you have to reach rank 45 on the Season Pass, and once you do that, it will be added into the available loot pool for you to get along with the other weapons. Well, next up, we've got Friction Fire, and this is a submachine gun that sits in the kinetic slot, and it's got a precision frame, meaning the weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. In terms of stats, it's got 25 for impact, 56 for range, 43 for stability, 29 for handling, 26 for reload speed, so 600 rounds per minute SMG with 26 in the magazine, and it's got hidden stats too, so it's got 52 for aim assist, 22 for inventory size, 16 for zoom and 85 for recoil, with 15 for bounce intensity. The curated roll on this one comes with full bore for that increase in range, but decrease in handling, extended mag for that increase in magazine size, field prep for that increase in ammo and faster reloading, plus rampage where kills give you an increase in damage for a short time, and that stacks up to three times. For PvP, Wellspring, where kills generate ability energy, and Zen Moment, where causing damage improves the stability, and Killing Wind is also good here, where final blows increase mobility, range and handling for a short duration, so accurized or steady rounds would be good, as well as polygonal rifling for that barrel, and that more increase of stability. For PvE, Threat Detector, where you get an increase to reload, stability and handling when enemies are near, or Vorpal Weapon would be good too, we get an increased damage against bosses, vehicles and guardians with their super active. And the most popular role for this weapon at the moment is Killing Wind and Wellspring, as well as Acurized Rounds and Arrowhead Break. And finally today we've got my favourite and this is Royal Chase. So this is also a precision frame scout rifle meaning the weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. In terms of stats, it's got 62 for impact, 44 for range, 44 for stability, 47 for handling, 46 for reload speed, it's a 180 rounds per minute scout rifle with 16 in the magazine. So the curated roll comes with Dragonfly, where precision kills create elemental damage, and auto loading holster, where the weapon is automatically reloaded after a short time. Also comes with flared magwell for that fast reloading, increased in stability, and finally arrowhead break for that better recoil control and increased handling speed. For PvP, quick draw and no distractions would be a decent roll, and for PvE, the created roll would be good, so that's Dragonfly and Auto Loading Holster, but I do have an automatic firing perk on this one, where I can hold down the trigger and just fire shot after shot after shot, and it feels really, really good. The most popular role at the moment out there in the Destiny community is Dragonfly and Auto Loading Holster, but that is probably likely due to the initial role on the Season Pass. Well let me know down in the comments what you think of the seasonal weapons from Season of the Hunt and tell me which one is your favourite and what roles have you got. Well that is it for this guide for the best Wrathborn weapons in Season of the Hunt and as always thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community check out the Discord link in the description or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.